So we now have some breaking news. Over the next several days, we are going to have an answer from President Biden himself. Is he going to resign as the President of the United States or is he going to withdraw his candidacy for the upcoming presidential race? Well, that's what we're going to discuss today because over the past 24 hours, we've heard a lot of speculation and we've got a lot of questions answered as to what is happening at this time. Just last night, even this morning, we had a lot of people asking, is President Joe Biden going to step down? According to reports, Democrats are asking that he resign immediately. So again, I'm gonna break all this down in just a moment. All I ask is one thing, takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. Okay, let's get right down to it. But before we do, I do ask one other thing. Make sure you share this video with your friends and your family over on Facebook so they too know exactly what is going on. But here's where we're at today. Over the past week, we've got a lot of people discussing the, the real, the horrible. It was absolutely devastating, the debate that between President Biden and former President Donald Trump. And over the past week, many people have been asking, what's the next step? Well, I came out and said it. The morning after the debate, I said there were two options. President Biden could resign which is very unlikely, or, and he could actually withdraw his candidacy for the upcoming presidential election. Well, over the past few days, the, the big talk was he should just withdraw his candidacy. Here's where things are at now. According to Democrats, they, it says House Democrats consider demanding Biden withdraw from the race says the disastrous debate risks unchecked Trump presidency, they warn. Congressional Democrats distancing themselves from Biden. Now, why are they doing that? What's the difference between a resignation, which is what many people believe President Biden is set to resign within the next few weeks. If he withdraws his, uh, his presidential, his candidacy, which he could, if he decides to withdraw from the upcoming race, this, according to experts and according to Democrats themselves, is going to be harmful because he is still the president over the next six months until January like 21st or something like that. He would still be the next president if he decides to not was to not resign. But here's where things get interesting. If he resigns, the next president in line would be Vice President Kamala Harris. Vice President Kamala Harris is also being considered as the next potential candidate. I want to show you this, though. Listen to this, okay? This is why some are extremely concerned at this time. Five Democratic members of the House of Representatives preparing to call for Biden to step aside if he seems shaky in coming days, according to one House Democratic aide. There is reportedly a staff meeting at the White House as something of a morale booster. And later, the president uh, today will meet with a group of Democratic governors, hoping to convince them that he is capable of serving as president and defeating former President Donald Trump in November. At what you need to keep in mind with that is the reason why President Biden is, as of today, Meeting with governors, Democratic governors from around the country is simple. He's trying to convince them that he still has what it takes, that his, his plan, his team has what it takes to succeed and win against former President Donald Trump. Well, many Democrats are extremely worried, which is one of the reasons why they are actually trying to remove him. Okay, again, look at this says Biden meets governors to shore up support hours after telling campaign staff no one is going, no one is pushing me out. Here's what's interesting though. President Biden is now being uh, discussed uh, amongst many Democrats saying that he has to go. 
he cannot stay. And the reason why he has to resign potentially within the next few days or a few weeks is simple. The longer he stays on, the more he hurts Democrats in their chances of re-election. And keep this in mind. Right now, it is, it's projected that former President Donald Trump is going to win the upcoming presidential election. It's not projected who is going to win the House or the Senate. Currently, the House is run by Republicans. They have the majority, but it's a slim majority. In the Senate, same thing. Slim majority, but for Democrats. This is why uh, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is in charge. But if Republicans get more seats in the Senate, they would now have the, the, uh, the you know, majority in the Senate. And if they do, the problem for Democrats there is they could have the majority in the House, the Senate, and they have the presidency. They have all three, so they can pretty much set their bills however they want to. Well, this is why some say we cannot wait for President Biden to go and just withdraw from the upcoming election. He has to resign. Listen to this, okay? I want to play you this really quick. Listen to this. Let's talk about former President Obama. Officially, publicly, he is still in Biden's corner, but privately, he's concerned. According to the Washington Post, uh, which writes this, Obama has long harbored worries about his party defeating Donald Trump in November, repeatedly warning Biden in recent months about how challenging it will be to win re-election. And the so right there, former President Barack Obama is saying that he is worried that it's going to be difficult and challenging for President Joe Biden to win a re-election. But look at this, because I talked about this before and I said there was somebody that Democrats were already considering, already grooming to be the next president. And that was the governor of California, Governor Gavin Newsom, who again is at the meeting with President Biden. But here's the thing, look at this, Democrats, they are beginning to consider Vice President Kamala Harris at the top of their ticket. According to reports, Vice President Kamala Harris is actually being considered as a, as a better replacement, as a better candidate than President Joe Biden himself. But she's actually not the top candidate. Here's what's interesting. She, Democrats believe she is the best candidate at this point, but according to recent polls, it's not Vice President Kamala Harris that could beat former President Donald Trump. Here are the people that they're considering. Vice President Kamala Harris is one, and this is not a list of first to last. This is just one of their options. Governor Gavin Newsom is another option. Uh, the former, uh, she, she ran for president once before against former President Donald Trump, and she lost. That is Hillary Clinton. It's another option. Here's the other one. Obama can come back. However, not Barack Obama. Mo Michelle Obama leads Biden-Harris in matchup against Trump in latest post-debate poll. It says the poll found that 56% of registered voters think President Biden should drop out of the race and be replaced with Michelle Obama. Think about that for a second. How would that work? That would be something that would be extremely interesting because then you have a former uh, you know, first lady is now the president. Yeah, that's where we're headed. And this is why I think this is interesting. This is why, again, I'm bringing this to your attention today on July 3rd, right before the 4th of July, it is because according to multiple reports, Bloomberg, New York Times, the Washington Post, they're all saying that we could have an, an announcement tomorrow on July 4th. So keep that in mind. I promise I will be here. Uh, I came, fa came back from vacation a little bit early, uh, actually a couple days early, because again, this right here is monumental. This could completely change the landscape of the United States for the next six months. So. I want to be here with you guys in case something happens. So again, I will be here every step of the way and I'll fill you in on all the latest news and updates. But as of today, that is what we know. So again, 
Thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.